What it do, what it do, what it do. Real quick, I needed more than 90 seconds. That's why this is not an Instagram video or a reel. But uh, I'm not going to be on here that long. I want to talk about us. I want to talk about <laughs> how we are as a people, how we are as friends, <coughs> as family members. Some of y'all don't even realize how fucked up you are as a friend or a family member. Some of y'all don't even realize how you just a miserable ass family member and you a miserable ass friend. A lot of you guys see your partner, your sister, your homeboy, your homegirl coming up the ladder. You see them moving up. You see them hustling. You see them grinding. You see them selling out for their for they brand or selling out for what they believe in or selling out for their for they business. And all you do is slick talk about them or all you do is, is, is slick find a way to find a flaw in whatever it is they're doing. You are going to exploit every aspect of it. You're going to do the research. You're going to call around. You're going to do all the shit you can to find a flaw in they get out. To find some type of, I told you so, or, or to find some type of way to discredit or to, 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 to not give them their sign or to not give them their glory. That's what you motherfuckers do. That's what you do. Do you understand how hard it is to, to start a business? I don't have, I don't have no data boys. Or, I'm not excited for you because your business is going and booming. That don't, that don't mean it's supposed to boom. You had an idea. You, it's supposed to boom. What, what, what turned me on is the fact that you think you can walk away from the normal. You feel me? That you can walk away from the normal bullshit of how you've been raised and trained to start your own business. Do you understand how strong and powerful you have to be to do that? Do you understand what it takes to walk away from somewhat of a guaranteed situation to an unguaranteed situation? From a paycheck every Friday to hopefully I make enough money this Friday? You, you feel what I'm saying? From, from a wife who or, or family or a significant other or a boyfriend or a husband who is depending on you having a certain amount of money so that y'all can pay the rent on time? Do you understand how hard it is to walk away from that and to, to try to do your own shit? And the first thing we think about is, well, I know I, I know a lot of people. The first thing Big Cell think about, when I, when I have a brilliant idea, when I put something together, I'm like, ooh, I got over 20 million followers collectively between Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Oh, so I know my shit going to pop. Cell, keep fooling yourself, man. Keep fooling yourself, man. Keep motherfucking... If I got 20 million followers, which I do, over 20 million followers, collectively, I got less than 2% of the people that actually watch me or support me or show me any kind of love. Less than 2%, you do the numbers. What's, what's, what's 2% of 20 million dollars, of 20 million people plus? Yeah. That's how many of y'all really fuck with me. The other 98% the other of y'all only follow because you're looking for a flaw. You're looking for a crack. In the goddamn system, you're looking for something that you could tell somebody. I told you he wasn't all of that. I told you that I got so many people waiting on true religion to drop me, praying against my Avion deal and everything else. Y'all, it's it's fucking crazy. I got people. Oh, that nigga stole money from the IRS. Oh, that he he got PPP money or he scammed. Even if the fuck I did, I'm on. Let's celebrate. Huh? I'm going to celebrate you. I don't give a fuck if you came up $10 or $10 million. I'm going to celebrate you because, again, I know what it is to be in the trenches, man. I know what it is to have to figure this shit out. I know what it is to not know how we're going to make it next month. I know what it is to have a whole motherfucking motorcycle in the garage and the notice due. Huh? I know what it is to duck and dodge that phone call from the bill collector, huh? I know a lot of y'all, y'all gonna act like y'all shit perfect and, and y'all don't have to, you, you feel what I'm saying? You, 
y'all going to make, you know, y'all, y'all don't ever have no bill problems and all y'all got plenty of money and life is grand and, you know, you ain't got no feet, you know, woman problems and you ain't got no, your kids love you to death. And I know that's how y'all get out. I know all my partners, they don't got the problems that I got. I know. I already know. So y'all can't relate to this. But for those that can relate to this. Yeah. All I'm going to say is this, man. I told y'all I wasn't going to be on here that long. Like this longer than an Instagram video. But to all my friends, to all my family, I don't owe you shit. I don't owe you a plan. I don't owe you a blueprint. I don't owe you a self, uh, 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 put me on. I don't have to put you on. I don't have to show you what I'm I don't. I don't owe you shit. Quit calling me, asking me for advice all of a sudden. Now all of a sudden, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the nigga to call to get advice. Say, say, man, I was just calling you to, to get some advice on, and I, I'm, I'm watching you do your thing, man, and say, yeah, put me on if it's something. Nigga, put yourself on, nigga, like I did, huh? Huh? Take your own advice like I did. Period. Yeah, find your own lane like I did. Do your own research like I did, huh? Yeah. Go sit in the closet and cry, nigga, for days at a time or try to figure out this shit like I did, huh? Yeah, bounce the bills around like like I did, huh? Figure out how to pay Peter and 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 and, and please Paul like I did, huh? Figure that shit out for your damn self. I'm not the magic guru or the genie or the none of that. You know what I am? I'm just the nigga that stayed down and true to himself. I'm the man that when you called and said, Sell, man, I will fuck with you, man, but you know, it's just sometimes, man, some of the shit you say just don't be cool. But, you know, I mean, you be so you be on some real shit sometimes. But sometimes, bro, you be rubbing people the wrong way. I'm the nigga that rub people the wrong way. That's me. I'm the grown man that's going to say what the fuck I feel, do what the fuck I want to do, how the fuck I want to do it, whether you like it or not. That's me. That's me. I'm the one you're going to love to hate because I won't sit my ass down somewhere. I'm the nigga you're going to love to hate because I won't stop showing you my greatness. Or I won't stop showing you, oh, look what I bought. Look what I bought. Look what I bought. And again, I'm not doing it to 999, most of you. I'm doing it to show the, the few people. I'm doing it to show the few people that fuck with me and follow me. Look, bro, if you stay down, if you stay consistent, and you stay shitty with yourself, and you hold on to you and forsake everybody else, bro, this shit can happen. I'm here today because I believed in my motherfucking self. Not because you believed in me or didn't believe in me. Not because you supported me or didn't support me. Not because you called me when I was down and cheered me up. Not because when I was up, you said, ain't got shit to do with that. I'm here today, grace of God, and my due diligence and my persistence. And if you don't understand that, then hey, I don't know what else to tell you. But quit thinking that I owe you anything. I don't owe you shit. I ain't got to explain shit to you. I ain't got to teach you the game. I ain't got to show you the blueprint. I ain't got to do none of that. I don't owe you shit. Period. When I was by myself, where was you at? When I didn't, when I didn't have a clue, where was you at? When I didn't know what my next step was going to be, where was you at? Huh? Again, I got over 20 million followers and less than 2% that actually uh, participate in any of my posts and any of my get downs on any given day, less than 2%. So that means I got 98% of the people on here or follow me just being pure motherfucking nosy. And I'm fine with that because <clears throat> I'm going to keep giving you some shit to watch. I'm going to keep on, keep on, keep on, and keep on giving you some shit to watch, giving you some shit to talk about. Huh? I promise you. I promise you, I fucking promise you, I fuck with everybody. I support everybody. I do party more. Listen, I support a hundred more people than, than, than people support me. Listen, man. You got to get out of that people owe shit. People don't owe you a motherfucker. I don't owe you shit. 
I don't owe you a discount. I don't owe you a hookup. I don't owe you a favor. I don't owe you nothing. Huh? And when you come to me, be prepared to pay the full freight. Period. When you need me, be prepared to pay for my services. Huh? Be prepared to pay for my time. Be prepared to pay for my knowledge. Be prepared to pay for the fact that I know what the fuck I'm doing and you don't. Huh? Be prepared. Listen. I fuck with you, man. I love you. I'm proud of you. I'm encouraging you. Huh? I'm telling you, you can do it because I did it. But you can't believe you can't keep you can't do it based off what your homeboys is telling you, what your family is telling you, especially this bike set. You can't do it based off what the bike set is telling you, because the bike set don't give a fuck about you, huh? I promise you. I promise you, the bike set don't give a fuck about you, period. Listen to what I'm telling you now. Do not start a business based on the bike set. You better start a business because that's what God put into your heart. That's what your passion is. That's what your love is. Huh? And you better be prepared to, to be out there on your own for three to five years huh? before your business pick up. I'm just telling you. Didn't want to be on here long. I got a lot of shit to do today. I love y'all. Um, well, actually, my dad's almost done, but I love y'all. I just want to come on here and say, listen, man. I'm not the financial advisor. I, I don't have all the answers. I don't know what I did or how I did it other than I stayed down and I stayed shitty and I stayed believing in God. I stayed walking according to his word, walking according to his beat. And it is what it is. Oh, I'm straight. I'm for sure straight now. I'm for sure straight. Oh, life is good and well and dandy. And we, we show own over here. But if you ain't been calling me, if you, then don't call me no more. Don't, don't, you can't just call me out of the blue. Say, what's happening? What do you do? Say, man, I got a question for you. My time costs. That's what I'm going to do. Now, how, about, how, about that? how about I get a 1-800 number? Remember back in the days where it was 99 cents a minute? You feel what I'm saying? Remember, the, remember them thousand and four thousand dollar phone bills that you used to, yeah, that you used to get, and your mom used to whoop your ass because you was on the on the on the on the hotline, and it was ninety eight cent a minute, ninety nine cent. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get a one eight hundred number where you can call me. You feel what I'm saying? You see, hey, what up, Pooh? <laughs> where you can give me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that part. Cause I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you right now. When you call me and you need a favor, get somebody else to do it. That's the queen favorite word. Get somebody else to do it. Bugatti, get somebody else to do it. <laughs> and this is the cold thing about it, man. I'm going to say this. I hear a lot of people say, man, Cell is really a fucked up dude. Cell is not a good dude. And I could care less. But I bet you won't ask nobody that know me. I bet you won't ask nobody that know me that. I bet you won't ask nobody that 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 have that have called me and fuck with me and I, and I was there for them. I bet you won't ask them that. And it's a whole lot of people that I don't even put their business out. It ain't for you to know who I fuck with on what level and this and this and that. But it's a whole lot of people. I'm telling you right now, it's a whole lot of people that can call, sell, and get whatever they want whenever they want it. That's facts. I'm telling you some real shit now. You just can't call and get whatever you want. That part right there, Candace. One hundred, say, man. That's that, that's what I'm at. I'm finna call the phone company right now. Yeah, pick. You already know. You and hubby, y'all family, man. Ain't nothing y'all can't get. Period. Period. It is what it is, man. But I just wanted to come on here and I wanted to say this because we we know how to destroy a motherfucker, man. We know how to bring a motherfucker down. You, we. we we could be on, I could be on my highest horse, man, and just filled with just everything. And you motherfuckers are calling and just, we know how to destroy each other. We know how to bring each other down. We know how to just rip the soul out of a nigga, man. Here it is. He done put on his best outfit. He done put his shoes on. He got his whole thing, man. And he pull a high look. I mean, you cool, but I wouldn't have wore them shoes. I mean, you cool, but. 
Then you had them shoes on last year. I mean, you cool, but damn, the pants got a spot in it. <laughs> boy, we some cold motherfuckers, boy. Listen, man. Listen, man. Some of y'all is friends. Some of y'all is family members. Man, look at here, Lord Jesus. Dirty, what it do, man? You already know, bro. Listen, man. I can't be there for you. I'm not going to be there for you. I don't have it. I ain't got it. Yeah. I'm going to tell you all the time. I tell all my friends, man. To everybody that's watching this right now, I'm going to tell you like this. Huh? huh? If you need me, call me. But do me a favor. Call Jesus first. If Jesus don't answer, then you can call me and I got you. Huh? To all my friends, man, I'm there for you. you know what I'm saying if you need some help, yeah, call me. But call Jesus first and hold on and wait for Jesus. If Jesus don't answer, then you can call me and I got you. You understand me? To each and every one of y'all, I love you. Um, just know, if I give you the game, the game is to be sold, not told. That is a true statement. If I sit down, if if you're privileged enough to hear the conversations that me and DJ Dirty have about his Armani exchange, about my true religion, if you're privileged enough to sit down and be in these business conversations that we have, I, these conversations are not free. Huh? They come with time, they come with, with knowledge, they come with effort, <clears throat> they come with learning, they come with failing, they come with all of that, all of that stuff they come with. So if you're privileged enough to be in the conversations, me and DJ Dirty have conversations all the time. Well, I've learned this, and he's learned that, and we put this together to try to come up with this. He pushed me, I push him. We push the people, we hold, listen. That shit is not free, brother. When you call me and you want to sit on the phone for 30 minutes, I got shit to do. I, so when I say, yeah, well, man, make a donation to the to the FHO thing, man. Or, you know what I'm saying? To buy a couple of T-shirts. Oh, sell, man. I, man, I will, man. But right now, I just need you to help me with this. Let me tell you right now. Dear Big Cell friends, dear Big Cell family, dear Big Cell associates, dear Big Cell blah, 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 blah. To all of you, I owe you absolutely fucking nothing. Nothing. Whatever that, whatever that means to you, if you're going to cancel my subscription... Unfollow me if you're going to block me, untag me. Whatever that means to you, then I accept it wholeheartedly. If I've offended you on this post, then be offended. I'm not apologizing for offending you. If I've said some shit you don't like on this post, then don't like it. I'm not going to apologize for it. If I've rubbed you the wrong way, then I've rubbed you the wrong way. And I'm not going to apologize. Period. I don't have no more apologies. I don't have no more. I'm done. Those that know me. Those that can make the phone call. I love you. You feel what I'm saying? Those that got my number off the bus stop. Because my number is on every bus stop in America. You feel what I'm saying? Feel free to call. Huh? Those that support me. I love you. Those that haven't supported me. Fuck you. Just that simple. If you haven't supported me, fuck you. And if you don't support me because of this, fuck you again. Well, it's all about money with you, Sal. Hey, I see now to be your friend, I'm gonna have to spend money. Ah, uh, nah, you ain't gotta be my. You ain't gotta spend money to be my friend. But it would be super. Be it would be nice if you supported me, my friend. It would be nice if you supported me, my friend. Like I'm gonna support you, my friend.
Anyway, to God be the glory. I love you. And for those hypocrites, oh, the man just got through cursing. Now you going to bring God in it. Listen, man, God ain't through with me yet, man. And God know my heart. So it is what it is. That's your problem. You keep trying to judge me. You keep trying to play my God. You keep trying to be, you keep trying to be my God. Just worry about you and your God. How about that? How about you worry about just you and your God? And you, however you and your God get down is how y'all get down. And so be it. Because I'm going to tell you like this right now. Listen. To all of my small business owners. To all of my medium business owners. To all of my big, large business owners, corporate owners. I love you. I'm proud of you. Keep pressing forward. Hold on. The breakthrough coming. Hold on. Your product going to catch hold. Hold on, they're going to have to recognize you. Hold on, they're going to see you. Hold on, we're going to support you. Hold on, they're gonna, you're going to sell out. Hold on, hold on, and hold on some more. Because we love you. We're proud of you. Huh? If you got a good product and I'm fucking with it, I'm fucking with it. If you make a product that I don't fuck with, then I just don't fuck with it. But I support way more people than people support me. And that's facts. Period. So, again... To the world, to all my friends, to all my family, close family, not close family, partners, buddies, and pals, loved ones, cousins, relatives, crip partners, blood partners, 1% partners, 99% partners, RC partners, SC partners, ladies and gentlemen alike, I don't owe you a motherfucking thing. Peace.